Hey everybody, what's up? And in today's video, we're gonna be covering a pretty significant topic that should help overall with everything. And that's gonna be how can we discern the trivial many from the vital few? This is it's a simple topic, and this is probably gonna be um, part one of two videos, but this is a really important topic that you need to understand how to work correctly because if you don't, there's going to be some big problems. So this is extremely important and let's just get right into it. So there's two sides of the equation here. There's people, there's on the left hand side, which is what most people do and how most people react to things and how most people run their business. And on the right side is how actually the very few run their business. And I'm just going to read through these points first. So with the left side, well, most people, they're, they're all things to all people. They think they have to. They always say, oh, I have to do this. It's all important. How can I fit everything in? You'll react to what's most pressing. You'll just say yes to people without really thinking. Uh, they'll try to force execution just until the last moment, procrastinate. They'll take on too much workload and their work itself will suffer. They'll feel out of control with everything in their business and their life. And they're unsure whether the right things get of whether the right things get done and they feel overwhelmed and exhausted. And just a quick thing too, all these points that I'm discussing today can be applied to both your life and your business and you should. Uh, life and business, like your, your life and how you interact in your life has a big thing to do with what your business is like and how your business is performing. On the other side though, how we need to start to think and act is I choose to. Only a few things really matter. What are the trade-offs? And pause to discern what really matters. You have to say no to everything except what's essential. Remove obstacles to make execution easy. Choose carefully in order to get great work, feels in control, gets the right things done, and experiences joy in the journey. All of this stuff, you can only make it work if you know what your goal is. 10, 20 years out, you want to understand your goal, and you want to reverse engineer that goal into the actionable steps every day to get those small wins every single day. No matter what it is, small wins every single day and just keep grinding down that path. We all want more, right? <clears throat> Everyone wants more of something. And there's an idea that, you know, in civilization and society that, yeah, you can have it all. The thing is, though, when we try to do and have it all, we get nowhere. We make trade-offs and we make sacrifices. And the problem is that we don't even choose what to do. Others choose for us and we end up actually getting nowhere, maybe even going backwards. <clears throat> We must learn to purposefully and deliberate, deliberately and strategically eliminate the non-essentials in our lives and businesses. And so exploring and evaluation is extremely important in the same way that maybe our closets would get packed, dirty, and busy with things we don't even need or care for. Our lives and businesses will become the exact same way. You need to start asking yourself, okay, whatever I'm about to do or the effort that I'm about to create, is it going to, will this make the highest contribution toward my goal? You must ask yourself before you do anything or before you're even thinking about doing anything, will this activity or effort make the highest contribution toward my goal? Once again, before you even listen to this, you need to be watching the previous videos so you can figure out what the hell your goal is and um, so you never stray away from it. <clears throat> so first step is you want to eliminate things. Well, first you got to explore and evaluate. Sorry. Before you even do anything, you need to explore and evaluate. Will this activity or effort make the highest contribution toward my goal? We'll dive a little bit deeper here in a bit. <clears throat> Next, you need to eliminate. In the same way, um, once again, that our closets get packed and they get things we don't care for, our lives and businesses will be the same. So you have to ask yourself, whatever opportunities you currently have, whether it's clients, responsibilities, jobs, um, whatever it is, whatever opportunity or either comes across your way a new opportunity or a current one or some kind of um, some obligation that you have, you have to, you need to eliminate things because 90% of things you do don't even matter. You must ask yourself, if I did not have this opportunity, how much would I pay or to what lengths would I go to get it? And, you know, if it's cutting off a client, cutting off a relationship, cutting off a, uh, a certain obligation you have, you got to do this and you should gain respect from it. And you got to do it in a way that you gain respect from it. You don't just want to cut off a client in a bad way. And you don't have to explain yourself either, but you need to do it in a way that, that garners your respect for you and that they respect you more. Even in the moment, if they don't, 
the fact that you say no pretty much and give up the opportunity because you know it doesn't benefit you and you know you're not serving them to their highest um, potential, it's better that way. <clears throat> Finally, execution. Once we know what's essential, when exploring and evaluating by asking that question, by asking this first question, you explore and evaluate. You should do it a lot. Then eliminate the things that don't matter, and then you just need to execute. Once we know what is essential and what actually helps us reach our goals, we have to then make executing um, these, these certain things effortless, and I'm gonna show you how to do that here shortly. So what's the main idea of this whole quick video? Well, there's three things. One of them is individual choice. We can choose how to spend our energy and time. Without choice, there's no point in talking about trade-offs. A lot of people, people know that they have individual choice, but they, they forget it. Or deep down inside, they, they don't want to do it because they want to people please people, right? Second, the prevalence of the noise. Almost everything is noise. And the very few things are exceptionally valuable. And this is the justification for taking time to figure out what is most important. The effort in finding those, and the effort in finding those things is worth it. You know, <clears throat> the idea that we want to instill here is that most people will choose to do a ton of different things, but they'll get nowhere. Instead, you should take time to research and discern and use the effort in finding the things that are actually valuable and actually worth it, because in the long run, it will be worth it. <clears throat> Third, the reality of trade-offs. We can't have it all or do it all. And if we could, there would be no reason to evaluate or eliminate options. Once we accept the reality of trade-offs, we stop asking, how can I do it all? And start asking the honest question, which problem do I want to solve? So we're going to cover these things with three simple steps, and that'll wrap up this first half of this two-part video. So step one, explore. You should actually explore more options than normal people. Whereas most commit to everything and anything without actually exploring their options, we should systematically explore and evaluate a broad set of options before committing to anything. Because we will commit and go big on one or two ideas or activities, we'll deliberately explore more options at first to ensure that we pick the right one later. This is extremely important. And you have to ride that thin line of researching and exploring enough, but at the same time, not beating yourself over the head and just exploring and never getting to the action phase. Um, simple um, three, three questions to ask yourself for this. Whether it's a niche, whether it's a business partner to work with, whether it's what business to run, whether it's how to run your business, whether it's a new opportunity, whatever it is, whatever you're researching, whether it's something new to add in your business, something new to try, some new step system, <clears throat> is one, what do I feel deeply inspired by? What am I particularly talented at? And you can ask other people this as well that know you well. And what meets a significant need in the world? The purpose of exploration is to discern the essential few from the trivial many. Step two is eliminate. Many of us say yes to things because we're eager to please and make a difference, or perhaps maybe we believe it's the right opportunity. People are effective when they say no, because they say this isn't for me. And quickly touching back on this point here, when you're exploring, sometimes it may not be what can I add? Sometimes it's what can I take away? That's what a lot of people miss. Oh, what can I add to my business? What can I do add to my life? What can I make my life better? But most of the time is what can I take out? And it should be what can I take out of my life to make this better? Or what can I take out of my business to make it better? And with elimination, this takes courage and compassion, whether it's saying no to a person or an opportunity. But when we forfeit our right to choose, someone else will choose for us. Telling someone, no, this isn't for me. No, you're not a good fit. Whatever it is, is extremely powerful and you should do it. But you need to know when. Explore, eliminate, and the final one is execution. So instead of forcing execution, we should invest our time we have saved into creating a system for removing obstacles and making execution as easy as possible. Like I said just recently, many ask, what can I add? We should focus on asking what can be removed. Discern more and make decisions more thoroughly so you, so you can do less. And so that's the first half of this video, guys. I know it was short, but these are very profound tools and steps that you need to start taking just in everyday life to live a better life, get more results in your life and your business. So this will wrap it up for this video. And um, later today or tomorrow, you will see the next video.